my channel. I thought today would be a great day to take you outside and looking at the seeds that I have um, in milk jugs outside in the snow um, that are winter sown. And I wanted to show you them today on a snowy day just to show you that it's okay to have seeds outside when it's snowing and that no matter what you do, if it's snowing or freezing and your seeds have not germinated, they're still little seeds, not seedlings, keep them outside. Do not bring them in because that will not be so good. If you bring them in in a heated environment, um, when the seeds aren't germinated, it'll start the germination process way too early. So and then you'll put them outside and they'll die. So once you start the winter sowing process out there, leave them out there. Don't be afraid if it's snowing. Um, and I'll talk about what to do once it gets a little warmer and your seeds germinate and then you see that the weather is going to go down, the temperature is going to go down. I'll tell you a little bit about what to do then. But right now your seeds um, should not be germinated. They should still be in the jugs as seeds. So it's okay to leave them out in the snow. Um, do not bring them inside. So let's go take a look at what I have outside ready to go. Let me just make sure my cat doesn't run out with me. I do not think that Dewey wants to go out in the snow because he's a little baby and he likes his life out uh, in the nice warm temperatures. Right, Dewey? Yeah, he's a good boy. He's turning one in April. On April 10th is his first birthday. All right, buddy, we gotta scooch over. All right, here we are, out in the snow, on my deck. It's coming down pretty hard. Let's see, make sure I don't slip on the shovel. So as you can see, I'm using various different kinds of jugs to winter sow. The tops are off of them. I have them duct taped. So right here, I have some bachelor buttons. These are great for winter sowing. If you're curious what seeds are good to win or sow, a quick Google check works. Um, so you'd be checking if a seed is a hardy annual um, or if it's cold tolerant. Bachelor buttons are great. So I have, I cut the jugs open halfway, put in just regular gardening soil, not seed starting mix, and I put the seeds in, taped it up, and labeled it and the marker that I really like for labeling that seems to be totally waterproof is the Milwaukee um, the tool brand Milwaukee their marker that I just uh, I think we got it at Home Depot so I think it works much better than Sharpies but yeah for this is a little orange jug filled with bachelor buttons so if we look inside you can see that some snow is getting in which is what you want you want to keep that soil moist so it creates the greenhouse um, inside of the jug. So, woo. so here we have some helichrysum or straw flowers in this one. And I did the same process. And I made sure to cut the jug halfway open underneath the handle. So it's like a little hinge that you can prop open. So as you can see, the seeds are not germinated. There's no green po poking up. So they are okay to be outside in the snow and freezing temperatures. What do we have here? Oh, and straw flower is really good for winter sowing also. More <laughs> BB, that stands for bachelor button for me. So I have some more bachelor buttons out here. What are these? Oh, okay, so these are my blue boy bachelor button mix. So these are like the pink, white, purple mix. And this is the blue boy mix of bachelor buttons, so. They're getting some snow in there, that's good. These are forget-me-nots. So, another good seed. Ooh, it is cold. Next we have lavender, which I'm not 100% sure how lavender is gonna go winter sown because I've heard it's a little bit tricky to grow, but I thought I'd give it a try. You never know. Then we have some Scabiosa. Oh, I have to fix this tape a little bit. I have some Scabiosa or Pincushion flowers. These are awesome for winter sowing. Um, and when you winter sow, make sure that you read if the seeds have to be covered to germinate or not covered 
to Germany. Just depends. Next we have Snapdragons. Now I winter sewed a lot of Snapdragons because they do awesome winter sewn. Um, I have some from Dollar Tree and also the Rocket Snapdragon mix from Johnny's. Next, what do we have here? This might be more. <laughs> yep, more Snapdragons. Just wiping off my phone. What do we have here? More Snapdragons. Snapdragons. Snaps. Oh, we have some Shasta Daisies, which do well. Winter sewn. Shasta Daisies. Oh, and this is Dill, which actually I have no idea if this is good winter sewn. I kind of messed up and just did it. <laughs> and more straw flower. So, yeah, I love straw flower. I can't wait. So this is what I have going on for winter sewing. And they're just hanging out, out in the snow. And hold on one second. Let me get under my awning so I can give you a better look at them. But they're out in the snow. They're doing fine. Um, this is my first time winter sewing, but um, I'm pretty confident that the seeds will germinate. Um, but if we don't, they're seeds and got most of them at the Dollar Tree. But um, we'll just have to see how it goes, but I am really hopeful. So let me know what you have winter sewn. So I'm back outside, uh, inside and it was freezing out. My hands are so cold. <laughs> um, but I hope you just got a little glimpse about the types of seeds that I um, planted. And if you're looking for really great winter sewing videos, check out um, Fresh Cut KY on YouTube. Her videos are awesome. She has a lot of experience winter sewing. Um, like I said, this is my first time, um, but I've done a lot of research about it and I'm pretty confident that I hopefully will have good results. Um, but she has lists of flowers that she's winter sewn, that have, what have worked well, what hasn't worked well. And that's where I got a lot of my seed ideas from, of seeds that will work well for winter sewing. Um, but if you're winter sewing right now and you see green coming through, that means the seedlings are growing and you're gonna get temperatures below freezing, freezing or below freezing or snow then you're not gonna wanna take them inside. You're, you're gonna wanna cover them with a really warm blanket, or like a frost blanket, um, to keep them safe. But right now, my seeds aren't germinated. They're still seeds, they're just hanging out out there. I can leave them, and they'll be fine. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> to end the video, here's Dewey being a little snow lover. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or, um, you know, let me know what your winter sewing or what you're planning to grow this year. Um, yeah, winter sewing works great for me because I don't have grow lights. So let me know if you have grow lights or um, what you've had success with in the past. Um, I really love to hear from you. All right, guys, have a good one.